Greetings everyone, Lights and Gear is back this time with a battery charger. I have something new from the folks at XSTAR. This is the VC8 and this is a 8 bay battery charger which will charge just about any type of uh, rechargeable battery. Of course you have lithium ion and NIMH as the two main types. And from the bits of information you can see right here, it's XSTAR's first 8-slot battery charger. And it uses um, the same um, constant current, constant voltage that most battery chargers these days use. Um, it also has supposedly a slot or two which will charge at uh, 3 amp, so they say. And um, as it says, it also uses a type C input. And uh, information on the back of the box will uh, give you a few more statistics, rather about the uh, charging stages and the fact that it cuts off at 4.2 volts. It has uh, buffering technology, reverse polarity, short circuit overcharge, and all that kind of thing. All that kind of thing. And it also has a zero activation function. So um, let's. Uh, Crack open the box and pull the charger out, of course. And here you will find the user manual in uh, several different languages. And here's the unit with the USB charging cable. And as said before, as mentioned, this is a C-type charger or a C-type cable. So you have your eight bays as you can see. Um, each one has a nice uh, spring load here so they move quite freely. Um, we have um, two sets of four bays and each one or each set has its own little control. This one is mode and current and this one is display and current. So each set has a slightly different type of operation. Every bay will charge, but then in the first four, there are a couple of different options, and in the second four, um, those options are not present, but it just gives you the... Um, the basic information about the battery as it's charging and when it's finished. So anyway, uh, let me take, uh, by the way, here's your um, input on the back. That is the only slot on the unit. So I'll take a uh, Type-C charger over here and put that in. Here's your display. Same on both sides. Nothing yet, of course, until we put a battery in. It'll take pretty much all battery sizes. So um, let's um, let me start out here with um, with a two six six five zero. So let me now the slots on either end, this one and the one on this end. Um, you can't see it very well, but right up here in the top, it actually has a notation for three amps. So putting a battery in either end is supposed to provide three amps of charging. Now, on the back of the box, which I did forget to mention, it does run down um, your uh, currents depending on how many batteries you're using. So that's explained right here. Let's uh, try to focus on this. Basically, basically three amps only works with one battery on either of the ends. If you're using um, two batteries, then you'll get two amp out of each battery. If you're using four batteries, then you get one amp out of all of them, out of each of them. And if you have all the slots full, then you should expect only to get a half, uh, 0 0.5 out of each battery. So that's the basics, the base, the basics of the um, of the currents that it provides, depending on the amount of batteries you have in the unit. So anyway, as I was going to do here, I have this 26650, so I will slip this in, and as you can see, it fits, uh, fits rather well. You would not be able to get two of these batteries side by side, 
but you can get anything on either side of a 26650. So right here, the display has um, livened up. And it is telling me that uh, actually this battery is almost fully charged. It's at 4.20 volts right now, which will be its uh, capacity. And But what you'll also see here is that it is charging at 4 point this amount. So this is the amount of current that it's using to charge the battery with. Now if I press the um, mode switch here, it'll just go through the other options. It'll show me the capacity which in this case is the amount of current being put into the battery at this time and then it shows the internal resistance and these are the same values that it gives on the other side of the unit so just pressing mode switch it'll of course just keep toggling back and forth with the current that it's putting in and um, the amount of math the amount of um, milliamp hours and the internal resistance but here's the actual current now you can set the current to what you want, but what I have found is that it seems to, now of course this battery is almost charged, but you're supposed to be able to select the amount of current that you want to put into the battery. And if you press the current button, it will give you uh, an option of 2000 or 1000 or 500 or 250. So those are your basic options. And of course, if you have a battery in the outer slot, it'll then add 3,000 to those choices. But let me put another battery in here as an example. I'll take, um, here, I'll take an 18650. So let's put that in uh, next door. And now the display is coming up on this one. And uh, as you can see, as you add more battery, or as you add more batteries to the slots, of course, you'll get another um, you'll get another display over here. Uh, this one is um, is up and running. It's at 3.54 volts, and it is currently putting in 241 as far as the current. It's only putting in two 242 now as the current. But and you can also see, of course, what it does here with the um, with a little um, icon showing the uh, battery, uh, showing at what stage the battery is at. But again, if I press the current over here and try to raise it, let's go to um, a thousand. So here's a thousand. So theoretically, I have now changed it to a thousand. But you can also see that the actual current that it's putting in has not changed. The current remains at 242. Now the other thing you can do on this side of the charger, because I said there were other uh, functions, if you press and hold the mode button it will give you different options. This one says grad on it and what this means is um, by grad they mean grade so it's going to grade the battery in this case this will give you the actual capacity of the battery it'll charge it it'll discharge it and then it'll charge it again and give you the final capacity of the battery once it's said and done so that's what grad does and then by pressing again it actually changes to store and this is for storing a battery long term if you're not going to use it. So it'll charge it to a point where it's safe to put it away at a sort of mid-voltage point. And um, that'll be uh, meant, for, uh, meant, for, meant for just storing the battery and not using it, basically. Now you'll also notice here that right now it's actually discharging the uh, 26650 because this is going in the opposite direction. This one over here is charging, and this one over here is discharging. It's, so um, that's the, one of the functions, of course, and that's what it'll do as it's going through the, the store function is to, um, is to discharge it and then charge it back up to a, to a, lower, uh, to a, um, a lower capacity. 
So anyway, those are the differences on this side. So I press that back again and it will go back to the uh, initial setting which we had on before and now it's starting to charge this battery again. But so let me um, now for w one thing to make note of is that this 18650 is um, protected. So where I was saying before about selecting the amount of current and whereas it wasn't really even changing after I selected a different current for it, it remained at the same current. Let me take um, another battery. In this case, I'll use a um, I'll use an unprotected IMR, one of these um, Samsung 30Qs. So I'll take one of these and I'll put it in the other side. And as soon as I put it in, I'll change the current before it actually decides what it wants to do with it. So I'll press the current on this and change it right away to, uh, to, uh, to 1,000. So I'm going to change this to 1,000 because as it goes in, I'm not, I'm not even really sure what it does if you don't select a current when you first put because the instruction manual doesn't say. So as soon as you put it in, it'll, it'll of course figure out what kind of battery it is and start charging it on its own. So it won't ask you or even show you what the current is it's going to charge at. That's for you to decide, but if you don't decide, I don't know what it does theoretically. But you saw a minute ago that I put it at 1000 and yet it's charging it at 243. So it hasn't charged it at 1000 at all. Now let me see if I can change that. I'll press the current button again. 2000. I'm not going to try for 2000. I'll just go for 1000. Now you see I've changed it, but it's still doing the exact same thing. It has not changed the current. Now I was experimenting with this um, earlier, before I started doing the video, of course, and um, I actually did the same exact thing I just did a moment ago, whereas I put the battery in and then changed the current, and I was actually getting 900 MA out of this earlier on today. So I'm not sure why at this particular time that it's chosen to only put 200 in it, because that's not what it was doing earlier on. So let me take, um, I can take another battery, but I actually don't have another, um, well, I've got a small battery here. So let me take this 18350 and put it in over here. And now the display is starting up on that one. It's showing it's at uh, 405 or 405 volts, 4.05 volts. And it, too, is going to the same current as the other battery. Now, one of these would actually not be prudent to charge at any, uh, at much, uh, at, at too fast of a current. So you would never want to choose a thousand, uh, a thousand um, MA for, for a battery of that size. They always want to be charged at a lesser current. But, um, again, you see it's doing the same thing as the other one did. Okay, I actually just came across another uh, 30Q. So let me take the uh, 18350 out, and I'll put a 30Q over in, um, I'll put it in the very fast bay on this side. So while this is thinking about it, I'll change the current over here. And uh, I'll make that 2,000, even though it's now giving me the, op Oop, I'm sorry, you didn't see that. It was giving me the option of 3,000 as soon as I put this battery in. But um, it was giving me 3,000 in this bay and 2,000 in the other bays. So I stopped it at that. But as you can see, it has, this one's at 403, so it's not that far down. But again, it is charging at the same current as the other, as the other battery is. So I'm not quite sure what to make of this. You can draw your own conclusion. But it does seem that um, regardless of what current you can set it to, it's pretty much going to charge at whatever current it wants to. So that's something to keep, keep in mind. 
Now again, on the other side, as I showed you before, remember you can um, do the storing feature, you can do the grading feature, and so forth. So this unit has flexibility in what you can do with some of your batteries, and it certainly has flexibility in the type of batteries you can use. I mean, I have some uh, NIMH over here. I mean, I could pop one of these in as well, and then you can start uh, charging an NIMH somewhere else in the unit and uh, that display would start to liven up here and then that's going to be flashing NIMH as opposed to the others which say lithium ion. So here this one is at 1.26 volt and um, it actually started using a little bit of a higher current there and it is higher than the other ones at the moment but it's coming down. But you know as I'm, I'm just um, again pointing out that you can use all different size batteries, different types of batteries at the same time but theoretically, even if you could um, select the current, it's going to be the same current for every single battery. You can't select current separately for different, for different uh, batteries in different slots. They're all going to be the same as long as it's within the four um, bays. But it also seems to select its own current and do exactly what it wants to do, regardless of what you set it at. So that's just something to be aware of. Now when the batteries are finished, it will say done in the display, and then you can use the you can use the mode button to toggle uh, the um, uh, the specifics of the battery once it's finished. So obviously it has its uses and it's a good overall charger uh, where you can charge a lot of batteries at one time and uh, do it safely and um, accurately but it just has these little, uh, I don't know whether they're flaws or not, but, um, you know, as I said, use that information with whatever grains of salt you need to as far as, um, as, far as charging them at a particular speed or a particular current, if that's, your, if, if that's your goal in using it. But anyway, this has been the X-Star, and it's the VC8 8-bay charger. There is a link below in this description where you can pick one up at Amazon. If you have any questions or comments, of course, let me know below and we'll see what we can do to help you out. And you can also visit lightsandgear.com. link for that is in the description as well where you can check out batteries, chargers, flashlights, and more. So again, hope you've enjoyed this video today. And um, that's the X-Star VC8. There's the box once again. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.